Vaccination is one of the greatest achievements of modern medicine. A true revolution in disease prevention, with an unprecedented impact on life expectancy and on the social and economic development of the whole world. Successful immunization programs protect most of the population from a series of infectious diseases that only up until recently have caused millions of deaths every year. These include diphtheria, hepatitis B, measles, mumps, whooping cough, pneumonia, polio, rotavirus, rubella, and tetanus. High vaccination rates provide a measure of protecting and well-being for those individuals who cannot be vaccinated. This is called herd immunity. Although global vaccination coverage has remained stable in the past few years, over 19 million infants have not yet received routine immunization. And about 60% of these live in just 10 countries, Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, India, Indonesia, Iraq, Nigeria, Pakistan, the Philippines and Ukraine. The WHO aims to achieve by 2020 the goals set by the Global Vaccination Action Plan. Meet vaccination coverage targets of 100% globally. Eradicate polio. Introduce new and improved vaccines and technologies. Recently, vaccination and the importance of a reliable and timely surveillance system have become increasingly important in Europe as a result of the alarming increase in the number of measles and rubella cases recorded since 2013, the impact of migration on national health systems, vaccine skepticism, a counter-trend that hampers progress towards the GVAP goals and opens the doors to the return of diseases almost eradicated. Innovative tools and strategies are required to implement an effective vaccine surveillance. Vaccine-preventable diseases can be controlled and eradicated only through institutional initiatives that implement targeted measures and adequate resource distribution. An effective immunization program cannot function without regular and reliable monitoring. And it is necessary to assess the efficacy of immunization programs in order to improve the performance of health systems, address outreach and access issues in populations with high rates on unvaccinated children, assess the allocation of financial and human resources, contain and prevent outbreaks, protect vulnerable groups. Different methods are used to assess immunization system performance and coverage data at country level. These administrative and survey methods and data quality self-assessments reported by the country itself. Administrative coverage data are essentially the number of doses administered to the target population. And they are still the main source of information for vaccine surveillance. Coverage estimates based on this method often result in an under or overestimation of the actual national and therefore global picture. The evaluation of vaccine coverage based on administrative documents and quality self-certification have been recently criticized in terms of validity and accuracy of the reported figures for vaccination coverage. Alternative and low-cost surveillance tools are now needed to assess any risks and design appropriate health strategies. Assays that can measure the presence of specific antibodies in our body provide very useful information, especially when available data are inaccurate or when it is necessary to implement emergency immunization plans. Vaccine Survey proposes to develop an innovative tool to detect antibody levels against the major vaccine components resulting from routine immunization to monitor the progress of vaccination coverage and experimentally validate record-based coverage data, generating an interactive view of the reactivity profiles in a target population. Our immunoassay uses micro quantities of blood to generate reactivity profiles against the main vaccine preventable diseases, thus enabling to assess the immunization status of an individual. This immunological data will be elaborated to validate the immunization program, identify gaps in age groups and geographic regions, and model changes in the age specific risk of infection and the risk of outbreaks.
The vaccine survey technology will contribute to the achievement of the Global Vaccine Action Plan objectives by identifying clusters of susceptible individuals and mapping the risk of disease outbreaks. This will translate into improved quality control procedures and better allocation of government resources. Vaccine Survey. Monitor population immunity against vaccine-preventable diseases.